What's going on Colossus Army? Kyle checking in and today I'm going to be talking to you about the top 5 ranked exercises of all time and why you should do them. So these are going to be your best bang for your buck exercises when it comes to muscle mass, strength building, and just overall functionality. Now one quick thing to note, this is assuming none of you guys are injured and you have learned how to do all of the movements we'll be showing you properly. Exercise number one is the squat. It's been forever called the king of all exercises and for good reason. So something you guys may not know is that it actually involves an enormous amount of muscle mass and stimulates the release of anabolic hormones such as testosterone, which is great for building muscle fast. Um, now, another thing is the obvious muscle groups targeted are the prime movers, so you guys know the quads, the hamstrings, and the glutes, but it's a lot more than that. The trunk actually has to stabilize the torso and maintain a neutral spine, all while supporting the load. Um, so all in all, the squat's actually an awesome exercise that forces the body parts to work together and grow as, you know, grow stronger as a single unit. And there's a lot of benefits to it. Um, it makes you faster, you know, helps jump, helps you jump higher, and it's been shown to actually improve bone mineral density in all age groups as well. So if you guys want to develop any kind of lower body strength, you have no choice but to squat. And one thing to keep in mind, guys, is if you are going to be doing this exercise to recruit the most muscle fibers, you must go to at least parallel to get the most benefit of this exercise. Up, 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 up. Let's go. Come on. Ah. Yes. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Number two exercise is the deadlift. This hits the posterior chain hard. It optimizes muscle recruitment and gives you the greatest transfer to life in sport. And what I mean by this is you're always going to be doing a movement like this, whether you're playing a game um, where you have to just pick up a ball from the ground or where you are possibly picking up a box at your day job. So it's super applicable to your everyday life. On top of that, guys, deadlifting is an awesome exercise for rehabilitative and preventative purposes. It's going to be strengthening the entire back and its surrounding muscles. It is one of the most effective exercises for building the core strength, such as the central muscles of the body, the lower back, the glutes, and the abdominal reason. Um, and with that being said, there is no other exercise that is a better test of overall body power and strength. Now, one tip and one thing for you guys to keep in mind that this needs to be done with correct form for optimal results. Number three on our list is the bench press. Now, this is a core fundamental exercise for developing upper body strength. Um, bench press is awesome because it improves strength, increases muscle size, and improves athletic function. So you guys have probably noticed we've only showed you compound movements so far, bench being the third, and this is because when you incorporate all of the muscle fibers used within a compound movement, it actually causes your body to naturally release um, a large amount of testosterone. So this doesn't happen in isolated movements such as a bicep curl or tricep pushdown or anything like that. And since testosterone is vital in muscle growth, fat loss, healing and recovering, it's vital that you do everything you can to create it naturally within the body. So compound movements are super awesome. Um, and within the bench press, the muscles being worked primarily are the pectoral pectoralis major, sorry, the anterior delts, the triceps, and then a couple other ones are added in as the um, stabilizer muscles. So one huge tip, guys, keep your butt on the bench so that you can put the focus on the right muscles. Next up, number four, we have the OHP overhead press. Now, I think this one is fairly overlooked because a lot of people have the mindset that if they're bench pressing, which is a pressing movement, then they don't need to be overhead pressing. And I think this is incorrect. The overhead press has many great benefits um, and make sure that you have the necessary shoulder flexion, lat mobility, and thoracic extension to reach overhead. It's an overall awesome functional exercise that a lot of you guys should be adding into your routine if it's not there already. Um, on top of that, it's very effective for strengthening your shoulders and triceps, which can be a sticking point in the bench press. Last but not least, exercise number five, we have the chin-up, which is known as the upper body squat. Now, the chin-up stimulates nearly every muscle from the traps 
all the way down to the abs and is an exercise with a degree of neuromuscular activation which gives you great potential to contribute gains in size and strength. Now let's use a gymnast as an example. They do tons of chin-ups and they have dense, solid, rock-hard muscles. Um, if you guys don't know the difference between a chin-up and a pull-up, I highly suggest you check out this card that's going to be in the top right corner here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot. These are our top five exercises and I hope you add them to your routine. Peace.